People playing these games, mostly impressionable young men, are manipulated into desiring to accomplish the goals that are laid out for them in order to win, all of which involve killing and many of which happen to align with pre-existing U.S. military agendas. They are desensitized to mass military violence, trained to support and identify with U.S. military campaigns, Salakia, and taught that being a member of the military might just be a fun and noble way to spend one's future. This is Nahum chapter 3, I'm going to read verse 4 through 5. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot that sits upon many waters and rides upon the beast in Revelation chapter 17, that golden cup in the Most High's hand, Babylon the Great, which is the biblical name for the United States of America, which is run by Esau Edom, the mistress of witchcrafts and lies, again the wicked are estranged from the womb, that go forth speaking lies as soon as they be born, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, that military media propaganda manipulating the minds of impressionable young men to think that military service is a noble thing and that they're doing a good thing by going over to these other nations, overthrowing their uh, sovereign leaders and setting up puppets thinking they're bringing democracy and peace to those people when they're really just jackbooted thugs uh, fighting for corporate and elite interests to steal the resources of that nation as well as uh, make that nation a geostrategic uh, choke point. Verse 5, Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirt upon thy face, which you're seeing happening right before your eyes. Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh is doing it through his prophets, chiefly through GMS or Great Millstone, going out there on the highways and byways preaching this word and cutting this devil, as well as putting up video epistles uh, such as this to further expose Esau Edom's wickedness, his lies, and his uh, treachery. And I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And ever since the men of the Lord have been pushing out that vibration at Esau Edom, these nations around the world are seeing you Edomites as the cause of all the problems in the world. As it says in Obadiah, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. This needs more attention. The sane, healthy response to learning that one's government and its allies were arming and training terrorist groups in Syria would have been screaming, earth-shaking rage for months, accompanied by a demand for an unequivocal apology, immediate repair of all damage done, and war crimes tribunals for everyone who was involved. Instead, the news passed by with a barely, with a barely a whisper. And now when you see Syria mentioned, it's generally to condemn its president for fighting back against the unforgivably depraved act of regime change intervention. This has been happening because people have been propagandized, sold through that witchcraft and whoredom. Nothing will change until we find a way to help human minds unplug from the narrative control matrix and awaken to what's really going on.